Welcome to this Forest Park New Media screencast. We're going to take a look at GarageBand in this episode and specifically show you how to do a fade in and a fade out. So here I am loaded into an already existing project and what the fade in and fade out allows you to do is it allows you to control the volume level um, to start uh, for example with a fade in to control it starting from no sound and fading up nicely into full sound or on the opposite end from full sound fading out to no sound. It's, a, it's an aesthetically pleasing way to either start a podcast or a musical piece or a voice piece and also to end a piece that way. It's good for your listener. It doesn't allow for a sound to just come and, and pop right in there really quick. So to do that, uh, if we're looking here, let's say this piece of music is going to start. This is actually the ending of my Kafka cast. I want to set this music. You can see that this music starts, if we listen to it just normally here, it starts somewhat somewhat loud. It starts at normal volume. I want to fade that up so it's a little bit softer for on the listener's ears. To do that, you come to the uh, main track area over here, and this down arrow allows you to click and expand so you can see the track volume of that specific track. Now here you'll see that there's this blue area with this blue line and this represents the volume of the track that you're looking at. So I'm on the jingles track so it means the volume for this this music piece right here. What I'm going to do is if you click on the blue line you start being able to plot points and you can click and plot points wherever you want. If you've got too many points you can just click on one and you see that it's it's highlighted here and delete it. So I'll take these out. I only want two points now. You're always going to pretty much work with two points. So I'm going to slide this point over. This is where I want my volume to come in kind of at full level. And prior to that, I'm going to have my volume, if I click and drag down with this point, I'm going to have it start at no sound and get up to full volume. This kind of gray line here that the blue line is kind of covering, this represents uh, zero decibels, which is basic sound level for the podcast. So now if I listen to this, so we'll be doing that as well. You kind of hear that it, it rolls up. It comes up from no sound to full sound. Now ducking is still turned on. So for this track, because this track is ducked, you'll notice that when it gets up to here, it's going to automatically cut the sound level down. So I don't have to go in here and set a bunch of points or anything like that. The ducking is taken care of automatically. So let's see how that happens. All that being said, that's me and that's this class in a nutshell. So you can hear how the music level went down there. So that's a fade in. You're fading into the music. Now on the opposite end, when the show's over over here, I know that it's going to... Well, let's hear what it sounds like regularly here. At later. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, ducking goes off, music's at full level, and the music just ends, okay? I want to fix that. I want to make it so that it actually fades out nicely. So I'll set my point here, I'll set my point here, and I'll drag this down so now the music's going to fade out. So let's hear what happens here. You'll notice the music go loud for a little bit because ducking turns off. Talk more about that later. Thanks so much for listening. So there it gets loud, and then it slowly fades out. So that's fade in and fade out. Um, you typically want to do this at the beginning of a podcast, end of a podcast, but I guess it depends on the song file. Whatever music file you're using, um, if it's really loud, I would recommend to fade in. If it goes out or if it just stops, I would recommend to fade out so it softly goes to quiet so that it tells the listener that this part is done. That's fade in and fade out. Thanks for watching.